Uh, this time I'm talking about consumer IoT. Um, there are advantages, there are concerns. There are things that we all like and there are things uh, we are a bit reluctant about. So you have seen this picture before. I just want to frame it to make clear what we are talking about now. So it's about um, your phone, your, your mobile, your wearables, your television, your appliances, your home, your security. And uh, there are some things to men be mentioned and uh, to consider. Yes, uh, we all know about the advantages that are coming with the IoT. Yeah? Um, we know where the parking lots are. We can look from outside uh, who is entering our house. We can we have all the health data. We know how many steps we walk per day. So very important and uh, less important things. We are we can be we are being empowered. So um, yeah, with getting information about uh, our actual location. Yeah, for example, yesterday when I walked through Athens, it was very important to me because uh, I cannot read everything what I see. It's efficient to do many things. Yeah, with the IoT, it's very efficient. Uh, yeah, within your, within your within your home, especially, and you get the kind of autonomy. But what's the price for that? Um, you may um, visited the press releases from the last two days, and one that is most viral today is uh, from Cambridge Analytics, who said they helped Trump to enter the. Uh, White House. Well, how do, did they do that? They bought personal data, what is not a problem in the US, and uh, analyzed 5,000 data sets per person to deliver individual advertisement. So people heard exactly or saw exactly from the Republicans what they are interested in, and it was tailored to their interests. So this is something I say. It's not so easy in Europe, to be to be honest. Yeah, we have some other data privacy uh, legislation, but I think, from my perspective, this is scary. Yeah, I don't want to read what I want, to, what I'm interested in. I want to to build my opinion myself. Not someone else should should build the opinion in this way. So um, social media is on. We learned about some million of data um, that are. Select, uh, collected per day by a company speaking earlier. There are millions of gigabyte collected every second by all these uh, services and we are free to give them this information. I think there's a benefit for us, definitely, but still to keep in mind what you share is out there and it will never be forgotten in the internet. So what people are most concerned, and uh, this is especially in, in Europe, not so much in the US, is privacy. Yeah? Privacy, so what is doing what with my data? Yeah, how is security done? Yeah, if you have a digital key for your, for your home, can someone else enter it? For sure, there is no software that you cannot hack. Yeah, what is about cars? I recently talked to the CIO of a uh, yeah, major, OEM, car producer, and he said, we will never, ever, ever put our electronics of our cars into the internet. Because what happens if someone hacks it and says, either you pay me now several billion, or I will make an emergency break with all your cars now. Yeah, this is, and you will be able to do that. Yeah, there is no security in the moment that can do that, or can prevent that. Yeah, and a lot of other things, maybe one that will come up uh, pretty soon, is the ability unable to repair. Um, maybe you have listened to Google that uh, took away a service from the internet what made a lot of appliances unusable because it needed this, the internet service. Yeah, and from the other perspective, uh, what people are most concerned putting into the internet uh, is for sure the home security and house doors and all this stuff where everybody who is a bit uh, knowledgeable in the internet would know either you're at home or not. 
you all know all this by using your, your smartphone, yeah, for sure, and everybody has one in the, as of today, and there's a lot of data gathered, and you have to think, okay, how do I use it, and which data privacy I will accept, because when you install it today, you say, yes, 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 yes. Maybe there should be one or another no in the future. We'll do that. But why are so many concerns and customers still sharing their data? I think the overall and overruling thing is, is our convenience. Yeah, we are lazy of making so many decisions when setting up our smartphones. We are lazy to review the data privacy statements that are changed every day by several companies. I think I don't want to be too negative, but I think companies do with your data what they can do. They will not take back. They will use it for their profit. And if you share it, they will make a profit. You can be 100% sure for it. So some takeaways. Um, there are concerns about sharing your data, yes. I think the politicians are very much called to take actions and limit this. <coughs> Uh, if the data is in the US, I'm not sure they can do, but they try at least. The concerns are mainly in the area of data privacy, and I think it should be there. But the convenience aspect overrules everything in the moment, and I don't think we should be so lazy. Thank you. Thank you.